What's happening, y'all? It's your boy Q Monster here back in once again. I'm here with my girl Maria. <laughs> we just got back. Well, not just got back. Last night. But, um, last night, uh, we just got done watching uh, The Boogeyman last night. Yep. And, um, man, yeah. <laughs> this movie was something else, man. I mean, this is like one of the old school horror stories that people tell, you know, for the kids and everything. When the boogeyman comes, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's hiding in the closet or hiding up the bed, and underneath the bed or whatever and all that stuff. So, mirror those days, huh? <clears throat> yeah, you know. I always think of something under your bed or in your closet or even like at your window. Mm-hmm. You see like a branch or something. <laughs> yeah, so... And I did not really know this is one of uh one of Stephen King's yeah. novels and everything because Stephen King he he's big man he's yeah. big on horror stuff you know I mean he's like I said he's one of those guys you know what I'm saying like to think of something that's just unreal yeah you know just he has crazy. Like a, he has Stephen King has like a sick twisted mind yeah I think when I had done a um a reaction to the trailer that's what I talked about back in like the nineties there was this movie called Thin or thinner, thin and thinner, or something like that, mm-hmm. and it was disgusting, but it was like his mind is like yeah. very twisted, so that's why on some of the parts of the movies, I could tell that it was him, but it didn't get like too, too dark or too twisted, mm-hmm. um, but it was still, there was still some parts of it, yeah. and I know he was behind mm-hmm. <laughs> this movie, so. Yeah, Stephen King, he, he been let he been letting his name known throughout these um, movies and everything, yeah. so he really trying to put him out there, you know, so. What we didn't but, say in the beginning, though, is that this is a non-spoiler review, yeah. but we might give a few mini spoilers. Yeah, we might we might give out, you know, a, a, you know, just a minor spoiler, though. I mean, like I said, this is a short film. It was only like, what, like an hour, hour and, and 30, 30 minutes? minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. So it, it did, it, it went pretty quick yeah. on the movie and everything. And, um... Uh, there was there was a lot of jump scares lot, here, and, yeah. here and there. Some may have got me, but not all, because you know, cause I always kind of see it coming. You know, like I said, I've been watching horror movies for <laughs> years, so I'll be seeing, you know, what's going to happen. Next Even when I see them that. coming, I still get like super scared though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst person to watch like a scary movie with because I'm like grabbing your arm mm-hmm. and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> like, just squeezing like, up my hand and everything. <laughs> No, like man. <laughs> yeah, get a little aggressive. <laughs> but but yeah. um, what did you think of it overall? Did you like it? Did you think it was it, too lame? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't really like the scariest movie ever. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's it's nothing like that. Yeah. But you know, but I mean, it is. You know, pretty scary in in some darker ways and everything yeah. about it. You know, because the vibe I was getting from this movie, it was like, you know, from Lights Out, uh, what was it? The Barbarian. Yeah. And um, maybe a little bit of it. The vibes vibes I got on one of the scenes was The Conjuring. I'm not going to say which, I'm not going to say what part it is, but there's a part in the bedroom where Mm -hmm. it's like Conjuring vibes. I don't know if it was the first or the second one, but I remember like that paranormal type of deal yeah yeah um but yeah that was the my only complaint this movie was good it had a lot of jump scares i love horror movies so i was excited Mm. to see it but i'm getting tired of the that barbarian smile it seems like that's the new um like i don't know that like that tall slinky looking creature Mm -hmm. it it reminded me just of smile and barbarian it just did something like a little slightly different but like that it, uh, yeah, I don't like that that much. Yeah, I would hope that they, I hope that's not like the theme for the next ten years of all the horror films that mm-hmm. they're gonna use that same looking that tall slinky creature that like does weird stuff that's not realistic at all. But hey, but that was I didn't like that part about it. But yeah, I was thinking I, that's the new theme now. Yeah, and I think the story was kind of okay <clears> to <throat> it though because um because. I mean, how can I put it like this? Um, yeah, I don't know how I was gonna try to put it. Um, like I said, the story didn't, didn't seem well to me though, because like I said, yeah. we follow up on this main character that 
lost somebody, like, you know, lost uh, a family member and everything. Mm -hmm. And, um, and like, and then plus, you know, she's trying to, like, find a way to uh, find her, like, find the spirits from her and all that stuff mm -hmm. and all that. So, I don't know. It was just kind of confusing me, though. But, like, really, like I said, I mean, you know, it's the boogeyman. You know, it's something that, you know, that kids already know. It's like, hey, you know, like, this creature is just unstoppable and everything. And plus, you know, it attacks, it attacks uh, um, people that are just vulnerable and everything, yeah. especially with yeah. the kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And plus, you know, it sticks around the shadows and all that stuff. So, yeah. you know, and it finds a way to, you know, get you yeah. and all that stuff. So. The little girl was a good character, though. Yeah. She's kind of creepy looking herself. <laughs> so she fit right into this. Um, the other thing about this movie that also reminded me of like Barbarian or Smile, it has that theme where like um, you don't know what's real and what's not real. You'll be watching part, and it's not a whole bunch, it was just like a couple of spots, but like you'll think that something is happening and then they'll wake up from a dream. And yeah. then you kind of start losing track of like, okay, was that real? Was that not real? So, um, So that was the only thing. They kind of yeah. took some things from recent horror movies, which is fine. Yeah, but, and, and like I said, I don't even know none of these actors, though. I mean, I, I never did yeah. um, look there up their names. There's nobody real famous in here. Yeah, yeah. I, there's nobody I could not really find in this yeah. movie, so I don't know. Um, did like you I think said, the teenage I mean, girl did good? The older sister, I forgot her name. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, she did pretty good. Yeah, she did pretty good. Um, I mean, there were, there were probably, like, a little bit of funny parts here and there, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, you know, they I know they all be trying to keep it dark as it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, like, you know, minimize the comedy here and there. So, I mean, which that's cool, though. But, yeah, you know, you, you definitely don't want to go ahead and just put go on full comedy and it, it don't feel like a no scary movie, you know. So, I don't know. I was laughing at parts that were not meant to be funny. So, yeah. some of it was like that. But, <laughs> all in all, it was a good movie. I'm, I'm glad yeah. we watched it. So, it it's, was on my, my June movie list to watch, for sure. Yeah. So, most definitely, and um, and I do know that the uh, Spider Man uh, Across the Spider Verse is already out, so I don't have a chance to watch it this weekend. But I would definitely watch it next weekend because you know, because I got like you know some of my family members that want to go ahead and check it out. So I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just wait out the next weekend until we all good to go ahead and check it out. So I know we're gonna be late, but you know, <laughs> I've been hearing some good reviews here and there, so I can't wait to check it out. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. So, but for, for this weekend, we just check out the Boogeyman for this weekend. So, you know, just to get it started for June. Because, like I said, there's a lot of movies coming out in June. In June. Yeah. <laughs> so We just got um, Transformers, mm -hmm. the Spider-Verse. Um, what else is important in June? And we I'm probably going to skip one. out uh, Flash, though, because, I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one I'm not it's, watching. There's too much going on, but. I mean, I'm hearing a lot of good reviews on that one too, though. But oh, yeah. I I know you don't want to see it, but I want to see that that scary kind of comedy movie. Um, oh yeah, the, the Black the Awakening. Black, the Blackening. Yeah, nah, something like that. I'm good on that one. So I'll try to get him to come watch it with me. <laughs> we'll see, but it um, just don't really do nothing for me. But okay, so anything else you want to say about it before we give our rating for this non-spoiler review of the Boogeyman? I mean, we're just going to go ahead and jump around the rating. I mean, okay. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10, you know. I mean, it's not that bad of a movie. Like I said, it's not like the scariest. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's nothing to, you know, rush up on. But if you want to watch it, feel free to go ahead and watch it, though. Like I said, it's a pretty interesting scary movie, though. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was going to give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah. Uh, for the same. It's pretty average, but it's also not awful. And there's, um, it's a, it's a good scary movie. Yeah, I would say, yeah. Pretty decent, pretty yeah, decent. Pretty decent. So. Nothing I would watch again though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we end the video, I just wanted to tell everybody to follow my, um, it's like my official cooking channel where I'm cooking a lot of little <laughs> dishes and stuff. So um, we're gonna put the link in the description below, but you can just like do like YouTube and then just type in like Miss Clueless in my picture and all my cooking stuff should come up. And also my blog, where, can we put both of them in the description, babe? Yeah. We okay. Can do that. Yeah, so we'll put both of them in the description so you can see my blog and my cooking channel. Yep. And you can get on there. 
All righty. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's all we can say for that movie, you know, for the Boogie Man. So feel free to check it out if you want. And um, if you enjoyed our review, make sure you hit that like button. And always subscribe it and share it. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Bye, everybody. Deuces. <laughs>